I'm Andrew Bate from Swarm Farm Robotics. We're out here at a farm called Vendee, which is the home of Swarm Farm Robotics. We actually run a farming operation here, so we run beef cattle as well as grow grain crops. The reason we started Swarm Farm in the first place was to build more sustainable farming systems and better ways of farming. We actually have like an app store and a, and a developer ecosystem that we call Swarm Connect. And what that does, it allows other people, other innovators around the world to develop new ag technology that suits their region, their climate, their cropping system that they produce food in and allows them to release this new robotic technology as part of our robots. We build the robot itself and that's our base robot. The first prototypes, the first robots we brought out were really a conversation starter with farmers saying look this is something that's going to fundamentally change the way you get out of bed in the morning and think about growing your crops and that's something we're really proud of because we're a team here in regional Australia um, most other ag tech companies that are based in capital cities, um, we're right here at the heart of agriculture on farm, delivering you know, cutting edge technology. I'm Sarah Nolette and I'm one of the managing partners at Tenacious Ventures. Swarm Farm often get asked, how do you think about are you taking jobs away, our regional community is going to be smaller. It's actually the opposite. If there are going to be young people coming back to these communities, what we're seeing is they want to work on the farm where the robot is. And so it's actually quite a talent attractor and I think is heralding some of the future of uh, work and service providers and talent that we will see in regional communities. I still um, work on a fully commercial farm here. I don't spend a lot of time farming anymore or my life's tied up with robots and um, we're really proud to be an ag tech company that's based out in rural Australia. 